are celebrating the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We will take you live to the site of today's Unity March with more on that upcoming event. A video of white teenagers taunting a Native American man at an indigenous people's march is going viral. This morning we hear from both sides on what happened. Many high school seniors are starting up their final semester before graduation. New data shows Idaho graduation rates are at an all-time high. Welcome to Crime 2 Morning News on the CW22. It is 7 a.m. now on this Monday. I'm Brittany Bailey. And I'm Jen York. Thanks so much for being with us on a chilly start to the week here. A lot of people may be sleeping in today mm -hmm. for the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, but we're here. We got you covered. That's and we, right. Yes, we have Evan Ronnie in the Weather Center today, especially for folks who want to head out to the MLK rally in March in downtown Spokane. What can they expect? Yeah, a lot of people definitely going to be out and about today. That's an important day for weather, and uh, it's looking pretty good. Day is shaping up to be a nice one, aside from the chilly temperatures. So that's really the important thing to note is that partly cloudy skies are in store, and although that may seem like a great day, you're still going to need to keep that jacket on hand. Temperatures outside right now are in the 20s, 22 in Colville, 26 in Othello, 30 down in the Palouse. Uh, but as we go on with the rest of the day, we're going to hopefully see all these temperatures make their way at least to the 30, maybe mid 30 degree marker. Spokane is expecting 36 degrees as that afternoon high. Uh, clouds are going to be decreasing with the day, but uh, it's still going to be partly cloudy for most of it. Uh, right now on satellite radar, we're not seeing any activity at all as far as precipitation goes, with the exception of a couple snow showers over toward western Montana. Here's what we got out toward Okanagan National Forest. A beautiful start to the morning. You can barely really see those mountains ranges, but as we go on with the next about 20 minutes or so, that's when we're really going to start to see that sunrise. So we're going to be giving you those views around the Northwest as the day goes on. I'll throw things over to Amber Rustashan. She has been checking up on traffic all morning long, and she's letting us know what it looks like now at seven o'clock. Evan, good morning. Well, I do want to show drivers a beauty cam of I-90 and Jefferson Street near downtown Spokane. We can see a lot going on um, in this area, and we are getting reports of some black ice on I-90 as well, so that could cause some of this um, slow down that we're seeing and again I-90 Jefferson so if you are going to hop on the freeway downtown um, I would take a different on-ramp right here so you don't run into this congestion uh, but we will keep an eye on that area and bring you the latest updates. Brittany Jen I'll send it back to you. Amber thank you. Today we are remembering the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In Spokane you can mark that occasion by joining in the Unity March. Krem 2, Shana Walltower is live at the Spokane Convention Center to let us know what we can expect today. Good morning, Shana. Good morning, Brittany. Yeah, happy MLK Day, everyone. I'm here at the Spokane Convention Center. The past few days have been filled with events of celebration honoring the life of Martin Luther King Jr. On Saturday, there was a hygiene kit donation drive, and then on Sunday, there was a day of fellowship. And then today, all of those events come together for the height of all of them here for the annual MLK Day celebration that starts in just a few hours. Now every year, people from all around the area come out for the MLK Day celebration, and this year is not expected to be any different. It's an event that brings people together to march under a united cause. This year's March and Rally are hosted by the Martin Luther King Jr. Family Outreach. If you're planning on coming out to the march today, it starts here at the Spokane Convention Center and then continues through downtown. And for your safety, Spokane police say they'll be heavily patrolling the area with officers at nearly every intersection downtown. The rally starts at 10 a.m. here at the Spokane Convention Center, and then the march starts immediately after. And then following the march will be a resource fair at the Convention Center. Now it's important to note the backpacks will not be allowed at the rally or the march, and Spokane police say they will be checking to enforce this policy. Now Spokane police have also put out a list of safety features to help keep you and your family safe if you're planning on coming out to attend the event. They say to keep your purse and valuables close to you or either locked inside of your car and hidden and tucked away and also to keep a close eye on any children that may be in the area and then also watching where you're walking to make sure you're avoiding traffic and keeping out for an eye for other pedestrians as well. We'll have a list of all those safety procedures on our website at creme.com. So come out, enjoy all the festivities, honoring and celebrating the life of such an honorable historical, historical figure. For reporting in Spokane, I'm Shana Walltower. I'll send things back in studio. All right, Shana, thank you so much. Well, in observance of today's holiday, a lot of places will be closed. That includes city, county, state, and federal offices. Most banks, libraries, and schools also will be closed. There will be no mail delivery today by the U.S. Postal Service, but UPS and FedEx will have modified hours. If you do plan to head out today, parking meters are free. 
Garbage pickup will be on a normal schedule. Now, if you are thinking about heading to Riverfront Park, the Skate Ribbon, Sky Ride, and Loop Carousel will be open, but with modified hours. So make sure to check those hours before heading downtown. Well, here is a bit of a history lesson for you as well. President Ronald Reagan was the one who made Mar Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day an official federal holiday. He signed a bill in 1983 marking the third Monday of every January as Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Also, Dr. King's birthday just passed. It was January 15th. This year, he would have been 90 years old. One of the places honoring Dr. King's memory will be open today after all. We are in day 31 of the government shutdown, so the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Park in Atlanta should be closed. But the Delta Airlines Foundation stepped in with an $80,000 grant to open the park. And it will stay open through Super Bowl Sunday, which is now just about two weeks away. This is, you know, we couldn't think of a more inspiring place to be able to support and really um, give visitors of Atlanta that chance to be inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. In a statement, company leader said opening the park will help to ensure all those who are traveling to Atlanta for the Super Bowl are able to visit the top historical attraction. The grant will be used to pay for park cleanup, maintenance, administration, and employees. The statement said Delta has a long-standing relationship with the King family, and Martin Luther King Jr. was a Delta frequent flyer. A viral video is getting a lot of backlash this morning. It shows a group of teenagers in a confrontation with a Native American Vietnam veteran. The Native American man is seen singing during the first Indigenous People's March in Washington, D.C. The man says he kept chanting and drumming while face to face with a group of high school students from Kentucky. Now both groups are sharing their sides of the story. I just wanted God to look at my American country and see what's happening here. God, look at this. Our boys were targeted. They were targeted from the get go. Um, immediately there were all these people running around filming. Chaperones of the students say a different group started yelling hateful words at the students. The high schooler in the video says he saw the encounter and inserted himself between that group and the Native American man in hopes of calming the situation. In a statement, the teenager said, I believed that by remaining motionless and calm, I was helping to defuse the situation. I said a silent prayer that the situation would not get out of hand. Again, that comes from the student's statement. School leaders say the matter is being investigated. An Idaho Democratic Senator just introduced an add the words bill to the Idaho State Senate. The bill aims to add the words sexual orientation and gender identity to the Idaho Human Rights Act. In the bill, discrimination based on a person's sexual orientation or gender identity would be prohibited. Right now, the law bans discrimination on the basis of race, sex, color, religion, or national origin. That covers housing, employment, and public accommodations. Last week, nearly 200 advocates for Add the Words Idaho held a rally inside the State House Rotunda. Idaho's high school graduation rate is at an all-time high. According to the Idaho Department of Education, it now tops 80%. Education rates in Idaho have been gradually going up over the years. The superintendent of public education says it is thanks to the hard work by schools and districts across the state of Idaho. And there is a new accountability plan offered to lower performing schools. The Coeur d'Alene School District has a graduation rate of just more than 87%. That is higher than the state average. It is 7.09 now on this Monday. Well, eyes are on the killer whale population, as we know. And now scientists have another theory on why orcas are struggling to find food. And we know plenty of you are going to be out and about downtown for the Unity March for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I'll be telling you what the forecast looks like for it after the break. Maybe we can learn to love each other.